Okay, I'm going to play some more Conquest Elysium 4 by Illinois Game Design. Make sure I'm going here because I lose track playing this game and it's freaking awesome. Yes, good job, me. Good job, good job. Alright, so we're going to stay here. My, we, me and my apprentice. It's probably overkill. Probably is. But I did see the Baron up there. So. I'll do another Mara. And I actually shouldn't have done that. I'll have the gems for it. That's fine, that's fine. That's end turn. Let's see if the elephant attacks. See, it tells you right here, level two. Oh, that's so nice. That's a good deal for an apprentice, but I can't afford him. You thieving elephant. The Amazon of <laughs> the Elysium Vicious. So here we go. I see the Mara's are spitting out units. See, they, they have spirit sight, so they can see stealthy and invisible. They float. So they can go right through walls and things like that, too. Because they're ethereal, they can do that. They float, so yeah, move, they, they move quickly over things. Mindless, so you can't never need to fear. They have shield. So if I can get a fear off of these, they, they should be done. Yeah, nice, keep barking out units. Ah, uh, see the trampling's coming. All right. Now, hopefully I don't kill my commander, because I need him. Because then I can't move my units without a commander. All right, one elephant's down. He's feared. He'll break. All right, come on, come on, come on. I need you not squish my commander, please. No, no, no. Okay, okay. He stepped aside. All right, we'll go down to this guy. He's never healing wound. That's a big deal on something that has many hit points as an elephant does. Oh, he numbed him. That's fine. Fear him, please. No, don't, don't do it. Don't, no, no, stop, stop. No. See, elephants are tough. I need to get rid of the earth. Ah, you just killed my commander. Ah, no. All right, fine. I'll kill them. But so you spin out animals now. Oh, cool. We got a, we got a cavalry. He has three illusionary attacks. One hit point though. Mara of dread. Yeah, we lost the commander. That's what I didn't want to happen. That's fine. We still got rid of them. But they're they're now permanently stationed. Mm hmm. I knew it. You opportunistic bastard. I knew it. I'm surprised they cleared the desert so quickly. Oh, I dropped the gems. No. They might kill me. Well, it was a correct choice to keep some units here, clearly. That bastard. He might get me. Because I lost that on those elephants. And I'm two gem, three gems short of. I could buy gems. Two gold per. I'll do that. Oh, I can't because I don't have any trade goods in these cities. Those units are trapped there until I can get a commander back over there. I can't do anything. This could be it. We'll see. No, I'm just gonna try to beat up on them. He. He would have. Ooh, a hero. Heroes tend to come with artifacts, but you can't see it. They can lead troops as well, but they leave from the front. They tend to die. He's probably a hero because he has 17 out of 12. He's got something. If I step out, he'll, the cavalry run me down the desert. I can't have that. He's going to kill them, though. Bastard. Baron. Now, what do we have? We got animal mare. Okay, so animals. Hmm. Not great. We still have to stay in the fortress. He didn't do it. Good. See, this is the slow start I mentioned with some mages. I didn't find any early gems. And due to the tough uh, independence, I wasn't able to take that, that city up there, which I do need to be, able to be able to trade for more gems. I just gotta wait it out. Yeah. They will. That's right. And in terms of mirrors, we'll revert to their normal state once they're empty. I could find some archers. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. That leaves three, right? I 
Hopefully he's not still hanging around. A moose can trample you. There's another captain. Oh well. Alright, give me all these things. Any of these empty? That mare is empty. Okay. Now I can do that on the move too. Hellbird, deer, 13. How much? For three gold, huh? Hmm. For three gold, it's a better deal here. Ah, good, good. Now, what do I want to do? I want to... Well, more images, I guess. What do we got? We got animals, soldiers, animals. The soldiers are better, because they can get archers or whatever. I want this. I should be able to handle them, no range. So no chance my uh, my illusion is being shot. What's my illusion is used for defensive spells, anything? He doesn't have any defensives. Whereas this guy has mirror image, which is pretty good, because I might shoot the fake version of him as opposed to the real one. So I'd probably do this. Yep, there we go. Ooh, got a lion. That's pretty good. It's two attacks. Battle fast, so it's double fast. I'll move two squares as opposed to one. See the archers? Okay. Alright, so I lost one soldier. See, illusionists start slow. Alright, that hell hurt. Uh, taking all my infantry. Ooh, got a bear. Nice, nice. Three, three attacks. Only one hit point. Because they are illusions. I've got these guys. Two casualties, though. That's okay. That's three gold a turn. A scout for si I don't want him. I don't need him. I already have a scout. Two of them, actually. We are kind of one infantry. That's not. That's not. That's not enough. Not enough at all. All right, beasts. Could deal with them. Would I really want to? Tigers. Oh, it's gonna be tough holding things. That's not. Even, that's not the realm possibility. That is good money though. I don't want to rob me, tiger. You don't burn. I can't afford them taking two gold from me a turn. That's not going to be cool. We should be able to handle the tigers. Yeah. There we go. They're resisting the fear. I lost my infantry. Moose. Cool. Trampling illusion. Love it. Winter. That's fine. Don't care about that. Uh, bear is going to be an issue now. Let's play a... Yeah, let's play a forest around. They're just spawning problems for me. But I'm gonna get 11 gold per turn now. That, that's significant. That's five turns for another group of archers. And I can really use them. No, I need infantry. That'd be stupid. Don't do that. One bear. We can deal with one bear. We can do that. Holding action there. You don't have to wash these if you don't want them. I like washing them very quick. It's a different part. Three bears would have been a problem. One bear, I can handle. Serpents. Yeah, I don't like them in there. See a little bit more of the jungle, too. Anything? Hmm. I'm gonna bank that money then. Oh, Mara's looking. Let's look at that large Mara trucking around. Phantoms, phantoms, and phantoms. Phantom soldier, phantom animal. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Good. And they'll just go back in. That's the cool thing about the phantom Maras. That is a lot of jungle. Lion tribe with an elephant. And they have a couple gold. These are lakes. Don't travel over lakes when they're frozen because the, the season can change and you'll just lose the entire army. Unless someone can swim. Oh, a fort. So you see that, that crown symbol there? If I were to lose my crystal palace, I could still win if I had the, I'd still be in the game if I had this. That means it counts as a place I can recruit to. As does the tower bridge. 16 units, I can't take that. Not yet. I just know it's there. I'm telling you there's something there. I need to know what it is. I do need it. How many do I have a mirrors here? No. I have enough for a mirror. Certain building beings can burn down forests, yeah. Escaping the jungle costs all my move there. Quentin the captain. Hmm. Now what can you do? You 
I can teach you new rituals. You can capture a spell into a mana. Is that horrible? Don't do it now, though. Like, if I can get one, enough money for one more apprentice, that'd be awesome. Hamlet. Savannah Dustwalkers. I'm dead. I'll take that. A spear and an archer, I can handle that. Another city. I'm seeing a lot of cities, so it's not it's not Dark Ages. No. Humans are settled in Elysium. So I know that. I know it's not Dark Ages. Oh, that was a library, too. Oh, I can't take that in a way. Only wooden gates, not iron. Still, I can't take that in a way. See how engrossing the game is, though? It almost feels like an RPG. That's why I love it so much. There we go, nice. Archery is incredible, particularly when it shoots flow armor. Vampires and ghouls, you know, they devour. Yeah. As you cast necromantic, as you raise the dead, you go insane. That's a thing in this, because the gods frown upon necromancy. But a vampire can purify their mind by devouring a village with the blood. Yes. You can be really evil in this game, in case you couldn't notice that. Death walkers are pretty tough undead. I don't need priests to banish them. They're pierce resistant. They have no armor. I could probably handle them, but I prefer just not to deal with them. I don't want them to go near my stuff. Ten levies. They're just regular units. not going to go anywhere. Ten dudes. My maras. They're full, right? Can I? I can't fill one. A ritual of master would be nice too. Become oh, a ritual grandmaster. I could become the grand illusionist. I could be a better caster. I need money. And I can always double back and take out the, the dust walkers. Are they flame resistant in this? They are in dominions. I'll play some more dominions. Love that game. It's a very involved, very, very, very deep game. More strategic than this one is. Yeah, we we'll had slingers. I didn't see that. Uh oh. I didn't see those slingers. Please spear them. That was a bit risky. Yeah, they were like a tile with my, my, my illusionist. Remember, I'm only a human. No armor. I got six hit points. No, the Baron. <laughs> Crap. There he is. He's coming. Yes, the Baron starts strong. And he has a monk. Okay. And he has a longbow. Yeah. yeah. It's like an English Baron. Yeah, he has a magical great sword. The Baron's a beast. He's not gonna be able to take my fortress. He's coming. Yeah. And if you kill the Baron, he, they could just recruit another Baron. It's like his son. Well, we need some Maras. Right, put a spell on the Maron. What we got? We got confusion. Oh, that's a solid one. Many colors? Meh. So then we'll, we'll fill the walls with archers. You probably won't be able to take it. Oh, he has longbowmen. That's not great. I could try to find where he is. In the lake. The elephant. Pinned over here. It might be for the best if I keep my unit, these guys out, because he hasn't, he hasn't been able to pin me into my city yet. And I can just keep my, my apprentice guard in the citadel. He's probably just going to take my fort and leave. Or oh, take my village. You bastards. It's mine. Alright, how much can he move? He has two move. I think he could attack me right now. Just... I'm not going to say if I die, but load if I die, but I just want to, just in case it crashes or anything. I don't, I don't think it will, but I just have it. I mean, for a big battle, you know. Game's very stable, it's never crashed to me, but I don't lose power or whatever, something weird, who knows. He might reach me this turn, I need more archers. You're right, I can't. Because you can only recruit once per turn, unless it's uh, one of these greens here. Crap. I don't think this is enough. We'll, we'll see. I can take out the undead, I think. Pikemen can attack from one space away, which is nice. Range two. There we go. 
rip these undead apart. They are pierce resistant though, which is half damage, which is awesome. Because archery is piercing damage, right? If you could just die now, please. There we go, nice. Moose. Illusionary host. Very nice. Oh, the desert stopped them. Good, good, good. Okay, that's good. That's good news. Alright, so we need another Mara. Next commander. Special power. Capture spell. What we got? Confusion. Confusion. See, confusion's good. I like that. And more archers. Alright, so I don't think he's going to be able to take this now. Oof. Hopefully he won't kill my apprentice. That'll be upsetting. And next commander. Very, very cheery music. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. Boys are going to take my stuff, aren't they? Bastard boys. Slinger and a bandit. One slinger. Fine. Swamp. Those are really important for... For witches. They can do lots of cool things with swamps. Those guys. Ah, I knew he couldn't do it. Yeah, you take that baron. Autumn is here. Swamp ghosts. Yeah, those are horrifyingly powerful. They're paralyzing scream range three can hit anywhere in magic. They're ethereal, so it's gonna be really hard to hit them without magic weapons. Yeah, we don't want to go anywhere near them. That, that's a scary swamp. Let's try that fort there. Okay, I think we've seen it enough from there. Those deers can and will attack my farm. Yeah. This impressive looking beast has sharp teeth, large antlers, and a sinister mind, the deer. Many hunters have tried to chase a lone deer through the forest only to find themselves surrounded by an entire herd. This never ends well because the deer is a very fast creature and shows no mercy to its prey. Even though deer are aggressive when they're hungry, they are also very clever and seldom attack armed men unless they outnumber their prey. Contrary to what many people believe, do not need to eat humans, but can survive entirely on forest berries and mushrooms. Yeah, they're not kidding. The deers will attack and eat you. <laughs> and this. I have archers. I can probably handle a bunch of deers. Yeah, I don't want to take my stuff. Wolves. Wolves are fast. Are deers fast? They are. And they're experienced deers. I don't think they'll kill me. I'm going bring bears and dive a bunch of deers after I chase off the baron. He made a bot in Bailey. That, that's baron's thing. He can fortify and bully the peasants into raising levies for him everything, so I need to take that from him at some point. But if I take it from him, it'll be more efficient. Oh, cool. Does Vi Handler illusion. <laughs> that sweeps, which is nice. Should he hit like everything like that? Very, very nice. Up. Oh. See, archers can attack up close. They have short swords. I've got them. Fear's Abyss is still a bit loud. The Nexus is connected to all elemental planes as well as the Void, yeah. Dead wolves. Defending my farms. He's really hanging out there, isn't he, that bastard? Well. Next commander. Use special power. Fortify, I guess. Another many colors. Beam of light. So that can blind them. That's really nice. It does affect giants, though. Fusion's awesome. I do wish he knew the spell to create illusions. Put them in a mirror. Be handy. But he does not. There's wolves. Yeah, archers will choose me then. There's the Baron again. That's his second army. Or his third, we don't know. An assassin, I cannot afford him. Let's take all my goodies. That's not acceptable. A rook, we won't go nowhere near that. <laughs> Rip me apart. It's large, large enough to grab a bear and fly away with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's not. We want we want none of that. Okay. Uh, you get anything good? I mean, I feel secure in my fortress. The assassin. Yeah. He can just. He's sneaky, and he can. He gets a bit of a turn to kill a commander. They're really good versus mages. The Baron could probably take him though, so I can't afford him anyway. Captain for 44, not bad. Okay, okay. So this is the winter now. We found the winter. I can walk over that lake if I want to. There's the Baron. So 
see what he does. He makes mutton baileys. He makes forts in all his little villages and takes them all. Alright, so he makes a process to get them, get, a, get rid of him. It's a little battlefield of ghouls. So that's where the Baron is. He's gotta be up here somewhere. It's problematic. I can afford a captain, though. Let's do that. Alright, so... Zanero. He will take... The Maros. Is that enough, though? The thing is, it's probably not. Yeah, it's probably not enough. Maybe if I could send that army up to meet with this. That's 22 units. See how he has more units than me in his longbowman? Uh, can I take... I could take his, this from him and fortify inside it. It's probably what I'm going to have to do. Baron there, though? If he's just sitting there, I'm coming. It's a real shame the Baron found me already. That is just poor luck. The Baron's very strong early game. I'm stronger late game. And particularly, I'm gem dependent. He is not. He is money dependent. And he gets lots of money. Just, Baron's really strong starting class. Oh, what can I do? That's... That, do I have enough? Animal Mara... Soldier Mara... My phantoms, I need this. Attack. He's gonna be pinned. It's fine. It's fine. So attack, be barren. These guys should be able to run right through the wall. Okay. Oh, that works too. Blind them. <laughs> Blind is our always misses. Almost always misses. So that's, that's really good. Blind the archers. Alright, so these guys should be able to run right through the wall. So. If I get enough gems, I can just negate his fortune completely. So he's. They're illusions, so they're just gonna run right through the walls. So I've got him. So I'm actually pretty decent at assaulting fortresses. He's not- the Baron cannot do anything like this. So... I just need a bit of a screen to let me get my, my illusions up. There we go, nice. Oh, there he is. Okay, I know where he is now. Oh, someone else! Good, 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 good. Was that the Necromancer? It is. Necromancer is weak. At the start, but if he finds a graveyard, he can just summon bunch. Is that the apprentice? It is, and he is crazy. Yeah. And he's twice born, so when he dies, he's gonna come back as a, a white mage. That's fine, that's fine. The Baron should be able to grind through him, but that should weaken the Baron. And I can just sit here. <laughs> can I use my... I can't recruit here, but... It has walls. It's a Martin Bailey. Any of my mirrors near empty? That one, but I can't stuff anything in it. Certain spells require certain size mirrors. Like the, the phantoms and spells require small mirrors. The big one, I guess, is for doing something else. A lesser ritual of mastery? Sure. I've learned the floating eye. I like this one. The, the ritual creates a large but invisible floating eye that reveals everything it passes, including invisible units. They all float around the world at random, letting the illusionist see parts of the world where he may never have been. The floating eyes cannot defend themselves, and they can be killed if they encounter an enemy that can attack living invisible creatures. So that's what we're going to cast next turn. Music's a little loud, isn't it? It peaks sometimes. I've got pretty low. Twelve, maybe? Let me know if that's too low. I right, we're going to have to sit here. He's not going to be able to take me. Maybe the ghouls will attack, too. They'll deal with each other, hopefully. Which means he's not there. Yes, yes. Which means that I can begin taking back his Mont Bailey. Because he can he also builds levees from these troops as well. It's a little light, isn't it? Just a teeny bit. There we go. Perfect. Alright, what do you have? Uh T. There we go. That's enough. Okay, next commander. Ha! I can take it. What would it cost to teach you something? A lesser ritual of mastery. Capture spell. Yeah, because I know that. And you know, capture spell, the eye spell, and capture image. So he might, hopefully, he get capture image. The Baron's heading up here, taking my things, converting them to Martin Bailey's. 
The necromancer's going the wrong way, which is not. He's both. See what he did? Yeah. Necromancer's gonna take that, I think, from me. That's fine. That's fine. Mine. I take that from you. See, that's worth three. Was it three before? No, he just, he just fortified. I think it's worth the same. He can turn hamlets and villages into Mott and Bailey, yeah. So sometimes it gets better, sometimes it just gets a wall. He's got to keep me pinned here, isn't he? Probably that bastard. That's fine, I can wait. I think I've got him here. Yeah, there we go. So, confusion's incredible. Particularly if you can't resist it. They'll just, it, now they work for me. And humans do not have high magic resistance. There we go. Lays them down. Bye bye. It's a little wall, not enough for me. Laser him. Uh, it's the necromancer himself, not the apprentice. He's probably less likely to be insane. I took that. Oh, and look! I get a levy now, too. Ha ha. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so back cap things, do that. Hmm. Ooh, we can cast that spell now. Yay. How am I, how are my mirrors holding up first? Animal mirror. Wish you could see how many images are dancing around inside of camp. I see, floating eye. The only known feat of magic the illusionist can truly claim is the ability to conjure invisible eyes, which he can spy on the private lives of citizens shying away from neither bedrooms nor privies. <laughs> yeah, so the guy... It's, it's, they don't like uh, illusionists. Because it's the most powerful thing about it, because you can just scramble your mind. It's like D&D, &D, where everyone's, everyone likes enchanters, but necromancers are the bad ones right now. You know, enchanter can mess you up far more than necromancer can. I mean, you, you ain't gonna see the army dead coming, you're not gonna see the guy who just warms who makes you serve him, because you think he's awesome. Because his illusion is the magic of the mind, right? I, I think I see him coming, so I'm fine there. So the Baron actually kind of benefited me a little bit. He's gonna leave? Oh. How do you already have his May? Yeah, that, that's a necromancer creature. He's, okay. The Karen. It explode. It's an immortal. Oh, yes. The, the necromancers have a lot of mortal creatures. They reform over time. You have to take their home so it doesn't work. Yeah, and they heal battle afflictions as well. And they explode on death. Yeah. Hmm. So the Necromancer is already getting pretty powerful. He is probably one of the strongest late game. He gets exceedingly powerful. All right, High Lord's there. He'll probably kill me. I need the walls. So we know he's there. That means his ter territory is probably there. The invisible eye is there. Just help me out. A lion tried to pick me village. So they got poison bows. They look like little dudes. Those are actually pretty handy. I need gems badly. Hopefully that eye will reveal some for me. I need a mine. That's what I really need. Or an ability to trade for gems. And like if I didn't have all these people on me, I could probably just take the towns. Alright, there we go. That's why I went well, obviously the Baron won, because that's a scout. Bumper harvests. Harvest this year is exceptionally good. In front of farms and Hobug villages doubled. I think I have farms. Yeah, so I should get two instead of one for that. Because I know he's up there. You know, the eyes exploring the villages for me. I probably have enough to take you, you know? Right, the Baron's there. Oh, archers, I don't like that. Attack, mine. I could use a scout with this force, too. Just save the money, I guess. Save the money. Nice. These guys physically outmatch me, right? But I'm relying a lot on magic to handle them. So you were... Oh, oh. Vanish dead. Well, that's fine. As long as we win... I, I don't know if we're going to win. Please blast them. So I, I wish they would not cut down the units that are confused. Don't, please don't smash my mirrors. Please don't smash my mirrors! My mirrors are depleted. Oh, no. We lost. 
Kill him. Kill him. My minion. <laughs> oh, one confused halberdier survives. Jesus. Yeah. She's unlucky. Unlucky. That's fine. I'm taking it. Crap. He swept by me. I might be dead now. See, he's starting to get more knights. Every village he holds, eventually it will give him a knight. So he's really starting to snowball on I me. Mean, he hired cavalrymen as well. God damn that bastard. Alright. We're going to have to fill the walls of archers. The desert should slow him, hopefully. Otherwise I'm dead. I, I figured you'd do that, you bastard. Oh my god. The Baron and the... Uh, this is just poor placement. I'm stuck between the Baron and the Necromancer. As an illusionist. She has a, he has a green enchantress already? And her fire resistance? I'm thinking at marquee level, the enemy's getting some bonuses. I'm gonna have to stick to Baron. I can normally win on Baron. The enemy's getting some pretty hefty modifiers that I'm not getting, and it's kind of screwing me over. Alright. Frost the captain, no. No, no, no. Amara and catapults. And you just... Well. Next commander. Special power. Spell. What we get? Confusion's a good one. Alright. Not ideal, but it's something. This is a rough game. Yeah, just take everything from me, Baron. Thanks. Yeah. So, even these little walls, they will slow the Baron down, because he doesn't have any female units. And firing up no guy with these kind of relations is hard. But, yeah, first one dude, yeah. It's not gonna happen. He's got me pinned here. He's just pinning me down. I'm losing all my income, which is not great. Many car colors, beam of light. Huh, crap. Yeah, he's okay. Problem is, I'm pinned down two locations. And the necromancer. I need the necromancer and the baron to battle. That's pretty much what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to hide out and just wait, bide my time. That's what I have to do. I'm not stepping out. I'm not crazy. I have to stay here. I'm going to put a little break in here. This is Conquest of Elysium 4 by Elementor Game Design. Like, subscribe.